Hey, how are you today? I hope you're doing really well and in this short video I want to share a very powerful technique with you that I've been experimenting with lately and this is a technique that you can you know start implementing in your life right away and just practice it even for one minute per day um, it'll help you to you know generate positive emotions and a positive energy in your whole system and that's very important when you are like you know on the spiritual path when you are practicing yoga um, we want to always be in a state that is most you know open and conducive and it has really you know two big advantages to be that way one is it just feels much better and you just have a much better time um, but secondly you know by doing that by being like that we can grow much faster and so you know we will um, reach wherever we are going to reach faster but it's also going to be more fun so um, do you notice that sometimes in your day-to-day -day life um, you know you feel certain negative emotions and emotional states like for example you feel anger you feel frustration you feel maybe um, competitiveness um, and stress um, sometimes you feel joyful you feel you know um, at ease you feel silly and just really you feel just good and there's such a wide range of you know such a big spectrum of emotions that you can experience so the question is how can you um, influence on what end of the spectrum you are there's another you know um, aspect to this um, in yoga you know they talk about the chakras like we have um, seven or eight major chakras depending how you count them and um, you know sometimes when our these chakras are kind of energy centers and what they say is that sometimes when your energy is predominantly you know stuck or um, based in a certain chakra then to each chakra there are certain emotions that you will also experience for example um, you know the, the lower base chakras they, they say that they are more uh, associated with for example things like survival things like um, power and um, then if you you know look at the chakra that is more um, located around our heart then you know the, the, the predominant form of energy is like uh, emotion that we experience is more like compassion, love, gratitude, these kind of things. So um, these are certain tendencies that they talk about in the yogic lore and this is also a good kind of indicator for us that we can use like to realize where are we right now, where are our energies um, you know when you feel um, and another thing to 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 uh, realize is also that you know they say that where our attention goes our energy flows so um, oftentimes in yogic practices we move our attention in certain areas of the body um, and sometimes we combine it with certain breathing techniques kriya um, with the intention that we want to bring energy in that certain area of the body and this can also be used um, in certain ways that you know we can help energy uh, rise in the system to some extent um, there's various forms to do that and i don't want to go into the details but not that i would you know all the details and nuts and bolts about it <laughs> far from it but um, one simple thing yet you know to bring our energies more towards the heart is uh, a practice that is also very you know widely used in the Tibetan 
um, Buddhist tradition, which is to, to practice compassion. And by doing that, you know, you can bring your energy up into your heart chakra and you will therefore um, bring the energy out of the lower bases. And my, what you might experience is that you're, you're more joyful, you're more happy, and you're also less concerned about the survival aspect of life, like, you know, eating, sleeping, reproducing. Um, you might feel less of these base emotions like anger, frustration, um, and feel more compassionate and loving. So this just as like a basic understanding of the science behind it, but um, you know, the, the, the technique that you can simply practice uh, with as much as one minute per day is when you walk by someone, some person, whether it's in the park or whether you're driving on the road and someone is, you know, driving on the other side, you simply wish them you know, with all sincerity, you wish them happiness and love and health in their life. And you might not notice the person, you know, and you might not even like that person. But that doesn't matter. And especially when you don't like them, when you have some negative, maybe, idea, preconception, prejudice, you know, prejudice, um, emotion, even more important it is then when you wish them all the happiness and love and all the good things of life then you know you'll be amazed at what this does to you uh, i've been doing this yesterday i was riding on my motorbike uh, just for a couple of hours and you know uh there's this thing like i don't know if in case you ride motorbikes you notice that the motorbike drivers they they always like greet each other like you know with a short uh hand gesture and so they're like a small circle amongst themselves and so I was thinking you know okay um, instead, of, instead of just making like a mechanic gesture like this when I see one I, I actually you know use this as a practice and then in that moment just wish that person like all the happiness and health in their life and then I continued doing this because it's funny when you drive the motorbike, you know, you do this only to other motorbike drivers. And if you see someone on a scooter, you don't do it because they're outside the circle. That's just how the, you know, the, how they practice is, <laughs> how they do that. And so I thought, okay, this is a little bit like exclusive. Mm, let me wish every person, you know, joy and happiness not just these people. So I did it to everyone that came across in the car, in the motorbike, on the bicycle, whatever. And within, you know, literally a couple of minutes, I felt so joyful. And today again, I practice it, like just walking by the lake, everyone who passed me. And um, I just invite you to try it out because you will feel immediately the difference. And initially it might take some time because, you know, depending how you feel and, um, it might take a little bit of momentum you need to build but just try it out and really be sincere and then you can expand this you know um, my guru he always says that you should you know treat everything every life the same way you should bow down to every tree every every bird every little stone even and um, within yourself just you know namaskar you can do that also um, but just practice it a little bit one little step at a time and I would love to hear how does how does this work to you, and especially maybe you can even do it when you're in a fight with someone. You know, when you your emotions got hijacked from you, then in order to gain them back, this is a very powerful practice where you just wish the other person all the best within yourself. Um, please let me know what your experiences are with this. I would really love to hear how this works for you. Just try it out for a few minutes for the next couple of days. And please leave a comment below how um, what it does to you. I would love to read that from you. All right, guys. Uh, I wish you a great week ahead. Please uh, leave a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Posting new videos every week. And don't forget, leave the comment. I want to hear how this is going for you. All the best to see you next week, guys. Bye.